Hey, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Uh, this is another math trick or technique for multiplying um, two to three digit numbers. Say, for instance, you have 62 times 63. As you know, you can do it the traditional method or you could get out the calculator. But you may be in a situation where you don't have a calculator, can't use a calculator, or if you practice this a little bit, in some ways it can almost be uh, faster than a calculator with practice. Okay, let me show you how this number works. We have two-digit number times a two-digit number. In theory, that answer will probably be a three-digit, so I'm going to write three spaces. But it will tell you in the answer if it is a three- or four-digit answer. So the first thing you do for your first number is take the first two numbers of first digit for both two numbers and multiply them together. And it is 36. Now, since there is not a number to the left, you will not be carrying anything. Next, for the last digit, you take 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay. Now, we have to figure out the middle term. And this is where some people call this the rainbow technique. Um, anyway, here's how it works. You take the these two digits and you will multiply them together. So 6 times 2 is 12. And then you will add this, sum it to these two numbers multiplied together. 6 times 3 is 18. So 18 plus 12 is 30. I then need to carry 3 to the left. And so the final answer becomes 36 plus 3 is 39. Carry the 0 down and 6, so it becomes 3,906. So you can begin to see, um, I find it pretty easy multiplying multi-digit numbers. Let's go with this example. Say we have 123 times 14. Again, what I do, since we have 5 digits, I'm going to assume it's going to be a 4-digit number. But when you multiply these two, first two digits together, it will tell you if it's a four or five digit answer. So here we go. One times one for the first number is one. That's pretty easy. For the last digit, you take the last digit of each number. Three times four is 12. But what I'm going to have to do is carry the one to the left. So I'm going to place this there. We then apply the rainbow method of multiplication, except now with a three-digit number, it's going to be slightly different. So we have three times one is three, and then four times two is eight. Eight plus three is eleven, plus one is twelve, and then we're going to move one number to the left. And now for the second portion, the second answer, we're going to do it slightly different. This time we're going to take the 1 times the 2, so the first digit times the second digit, and then the second digit times the first digit. So 1 times 2 is 2, and then 4 times 1 is 4, so that becomes a 6, and we have 6. Plus, we need to add 1 to it, so this becomes a 7. So the final answer is 1,722. Again, the rainbow method is slightly different with three digits, but it works every time. You take, for the this number, take 3 times 1. Notice kind of where my arrows are going, and then, and then in the bottom, you move 1 to the left. So it would be 1 times 2, 4 times 1. Let's look at another example, and I think hopefully it will make it a little bit more clear. Let's go with okay. the final. Let's go ahead and work the last problem. We have 315 times 43. It's a five-digit number, so I'm going to assume that it is a four-digit answer. And then what we do is, for the first answer, we take... 3 times 4, which is 12. We can't move the 1 to the left, so we it remains there. 
5 times 3 is 15. We will carry 1 to the left there. Let's do the rainbow method for the first, for this digit right here. 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 1 is 3. Therefore, that is 23. But we need to move 2 to this side. Next, we rainbow method the bottom. We go 4 times 1 and 3 times 3. 4 times 1 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. So let's go 4 and 9, and that gives me 13. Then, so we'll go 13 and carry the 1 to the left. Bring the numbers down, 5, 4, 5, 13. So the final answer is 13,545. Hope that helps. Please see the link down below, and I've got some more shortcuts for multiplication.